California is recognized for three minutes. I thank the gentlelady. And Ma Madam Speaker, yesterday I went to the Rules Committee and offered an amendment to the Omnibus Public Lands Bill that would have saved 60,000 jobs and over $2.2 billion worth of income in my district by ending the regulatory drought that currently plagues the San Joaquin Valley. Surprisingly, the Rules Committee said no to saving 80,000 jobs despite bipartisan support. My amendment would have temporarily removed the restrictions of the Endangered Species Act, which places, uh, placed on the federal and state water pumps in the California Bay Delta, allowing water to be moved from northern and central California to farming families in my district and millions of urban Californians in the southern portion of the state. Pumping and storing more water is necessary if we want to relieve the devastating drought in California. Yet the Rules Committee didn't consider the billions of dollars and jobs it would save to be worthwhile. The way this legislation has been put together and shuttered through Congress is atrocious. The majority has sprinkled a few meritorious provisions in an effort to buy votes around what is otherwise damaging legislation. This bill blocks millions of acres from new oil and gas leasing and all other business activity. Further, the bill designates more than two million acres as wilderness areas permanently restricting public access. The federal government already owns 30 percent of the total land area of the United States. It doesn't need any more. Though I will vote for, though I, though I will not vote for the Omnibus Public Lands Bill for the serious reasons previously stated, there are some supportable measures in the bill. The Tuolumne Miwok Land Transfer Act, the Madera Water Supply Enhancement Act, and the San Juan Key River Restoration Settlement are three examples. The Madera Water Bank, the Madera Water Supply Enhancement Act creates an underground water bank in my district which is desperately needed in the San Joaquin Valley to mitigate the effects of drought and, onerous, and, and the onerous Endangered Species Act regulations. I also support the San Joaquin River Restoration Settlement, resolving a 20-year lawsuit that threatened the water supply for farmers in the San Joaquin Valley. The San Joaquin River Restoration Settlement gave my agricultural const constituents something they did not previously have, a seat at the negotiating table. Before the settlement, a, judge, a federal judge was going to decide how much water farmers would lose in order to restore a salmon fishery. By giving farmers a voice in the solution, the settlement prevents an agricultural disaster and gives the agricultural community some control over their water future. Additionally, all 22 water districts of the Friant Water Users Authority have consistently voted in support of the settlement. The, the settlement is a product of hardworking folks who simply want to continue growing food to feed this great nation with a safe, reliable, and efficient water supply. And I believe that we have accomplished that goal in this settlement. Gentlemen's time has expired. Another 30 seconds. I'd, just I'd finish be happy to yield another 30 seconds to the gentleman from for California. 30 seconds. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I do support these portions of the Omnibus Public Lands Act and believe that they deserve to be passed on their own merit. However, for reasons stated above, I cannot support the overall package and urge my colleagues to vote against this rule that did not allow a vote to save 80,000 jobs and over $2 billion in income in California at no cost to the taxpayers. Thank you, Madam Chair. Gentleman yields back his time.